at the moment, there's a storm system, an area of low pressure west of the U.S., but it's going to be moving eastward, and I think there could be some travel impacts, especially along and east of the Mississippi as we get into next week, a couple days before Thanksgiving, and that's the same system that brings our next rain chance into Sunday and Monday. So on Futurecast here, as we watch this low approach, again, you can see some wet weather moving out of the western U.S. Here's that low on Sunday with some possible spotty showers out ahead of it, so we have a slight rain chance here Sunday, slightly better chance, we think, from Monday, maybe some scattered storms coming through and then behind this will be a windy cold front so Tuesday is the day when we start getting cooler and again it'll be pretty windy here and you can see the impact over the eastern part of the country by Tuesday widespread rain probably a good dose of wind in the vicinity of that system as well it does look like by Thanksgiving the actual day that a lot of that will have cleared most of the U.S. again locally we have those rain chances Sunday and Monday the little change in our forecast today is I've nudged Monday's odds down a little bit meaning the rain probably not as widespread as it was initially looking and then NOAA has also uh, kind of jumped on board with that forecast as well. Their seven day rain outlook has trimmed back the potential rain totals a little bit for our area. Now it's showing mostly less than half an inch. The blue color indicates about half an inch with some higher totals farther east of our area. Temperatures kept a little cooler today with that cloud cover, but we're back to 70s for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then popping up to about 81 Monday before that front comes in. And then we see the wind and the cooler temperatures on the way. You'll see that towards the end of the 10 day forecast. Rain, though, should be gone for most of next week, so a dry but cool Thanksgiving coming up.